A local nonprofit, Autism Action Partnership, hosted a unique training event today with law enforcement. 3 News Now reporter Jill Lampkins went and then tells us more about what everyone learned. Meet 21 year old Emma. Well, first of all, I really like Manja. She has autism, and while the free pizza was a good incentive to come, she wanted to learn more about her local police. Seeing the police officers who make so much sacrifices and what they do for our community is really nice. Autism Action Partnership is helping teens and adults with autism connect with law enforcement. You know, for the police, for the community, for individuals with disabilities, I, I think that, you know, you know better and you do better. And I believe that this is going to keep breaking barriers and it's going to keep a momentum going. Christina Daly has a 20 year old son with autism who she worries about when dealing with authority. So I thought today would be a perfect time for him to learn how to calm down in those situations and how to interact with people in a situation that can be scary or overwhelming for him. But the training isn't just for the autism community, it's also for law enforcement. Provides a great positive experience where we can engage and kind of learn from each other. Just having the knowledge and the training of the, you know, some of the characteristics and qualities and ways that they can recognize it. A mutual understanding of each other that might help if they ever meet again. It makes me feel more comfortable. It's like not all cops are bad. In Omaha, Jill Lampkins, 3 News Now. The training brought law enforcement from all over the metro who spent the first part of the day learning how to identify the characteristics of autism in an intro course and then they spent the afternoon getting to know members of the autism community.